Now Kennedy. Kick off and Whitley with him. In fact, it's three on two in City's favour. Kennedy can release the ball. Chance for Dick off. Very well taken by Clark. But maybe an opportunity wasted by Paul Dickoff. Tiato the target. Now Kennedy, who's switched wings. Weatherall. Ball's for Dickoff. Oh, yes. Absolutely brilliant. An outstanding way to score. One shot flick. Dick off again. Oh, he's on form today. Kennedy. Pryor. Free header. Bradford defending for their lives and it had to be tipped over. Caboni. No offside. Great run for Beagre. They're just lacking quality, Bradford City. We're in stoppage time in the first half. Can City finish with the back? Harlan, yes! It's 2-0 to Manchester City. On a rainy day in Manchester. It's pretty miserable for Bradford. Captain Alfie Hart. Ward. Beagree. The lack of quality, which was Bradford's problem in the first half. Beagree's cross. Well, they almost pulled back a goal within 40 seconds. Of the second half, Ashley Ward. Dickoff takes it cleverly out of the air. It's right under the studs of the Bradford defence. Ball played in. Oh, should have been three. Swift, fine football from Manchester City. Better by Carboni. Oh, dear. They sing Blue Moon here. I don't think Bradford are going to score in a blue move. Better by Bradford. Ward plays it in. Lawrence! Well, the only save that Weaver's had to make. What ideas has he got? McCall, good run. Pretty awful finish. Harlan. One shot. Now Whitley. Can he finish it off with a third goal for Manchester City? Well, Clark makes a good stop. Quinn, Phillips, looking to prize an opening. Advantage played here, and Julio Arca could be in. What a chance! And he's taken it, it surely bounced over the line, did it? No, it's not been given. It's not been given, and Chelsea survive. Well... Julio Arca and 46,000 inside the Stadium of Light thought that was over the line. The first. Lifting it up towards Hasselbank, and he's in now! But not the best of final efforts from Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, who's usually a lot more lethal than that in front of goal. Ray, aware of the man on. Kilban. And, ooh, the birth got something on it, but Phillips is there, and so is Quinn, and palmed away by Edgar Hoy. The lethal combination almost worked wonders again for Sunderland. Craddock's free kick. There's Quinn again. This time, though, it'll be scooped up by another footballing giant, Edgar Hoy, and the birth is down now. Oh, I've been around. It might not be the last time this afternoon that he uh, builds the force of the Irishman. To be fair, oh, Finn was only interested in going for the ball there, as usual. Chelsea are busily sorting out a substitute now. And it is going to be Winston Fajade. Signed the course from Barcelona recently. Viali's departure. Frank LeBeur stretched off in the Stadium of Light in the first half. Commission Tom. Just making the place of my stuff, Sutherland, but 
Can they find a cutting edge to it all? Your band is going to get the free kick. Another foul on him by Graham Rousseau. And I think we're going to see the first yellow card of this game. Graham Rousseau is going to be shown a yellow card. And Quinn can be in here! Oh. And the penalty has been given for a push on Niall Quinn. Chelsea protests, but Quinn had his shirt tucked. It was an inviting centre and Melkiot was grappling with Quinn. Here comes Phillips. Ignored by his country, but never by his club. You can't keep a good man down, and you can't keep a goal man down. Quinn. Got the penalty in effect for uh, Sunderland after Melkiel's challenge on him. Oh, and Graham Lasseau. Squaring up to Kevin Kilban here. Now the so remember is on a yellow card. So the referee has to get in quickly and sort this out. Because they're all getting a bit too involved. But it's a red card for Graham Lasso. What is the punishment? Yes, it's a red card as well for Kevin Kilban. So both of them have been sent off for squaring up to each other there. And it's all erupting in the Stadium of Life. Graham Lasso is off, and Kevin Kilban is off too. Win at Pride Park. We told you about how bad Derby County's defense is. So what does Jim Smith do? Starts two defenders, and look at Gerald Houllier. He's licking his chops. You don't see him doing it there. But certainly he felt that Liverpool had a good chance here. Hey, Derby County, as bad as they are, they've never lost at home. Four points in four matches. There's Jim Smith. How about no pint? First half highlights from the corner. The ball lifted in and skying high is Emil Heskey. 1-0 in his second league goal after a busy week for him in international duty. Mark Poom, an ugly scene there. Look at Michael Owen. This is the incident. Look at the right of your screen. Terrible thing there is Chris Riggett hit him in the back of the head. He would be all right taking the, the hospital later for precautions. Would get some stitches later on in the second half. Emil Heskey, his third league goal, second of the match. Mark Poom wants a transfer to West Brom. Here they come again. Push through. Guess who? Emil Heskey. Hey, it's about time. His fourth league goal of the season. And Liverpool open it up. 3-0. Jim Smith pulls a defender in the second half. And they're playing with seven, eight midfielders and one defender. Here come Liverpool again. Oh, glorious strike by Patrick Berger. Where is the man marking? Not there. And poor Mark Poon. You feel for the Estonian. 4-0. They look for more, but Mark Poon, valiant to the end, denies Robbie Fowler. And Liverpool send Derby County their first home defeat for the... For that, we head to the Riverside. Alan Shearer and company trying to work the magic on the road. Middlesbrough, meanwhile, the Riverside crowd looking for their third straight victory. Middlesbrough in red on the attack early on. Newcastle, the Argentine, Daniel Cardoni is going to take this one over from Lua Lua. Shot into the goal. Alan Shearer and a no goal this time from Daniel Cordone, the Argentine. No such luck. Credit the assist there from Lua Lua. This guy, keep your eyes on him. He is pegged for stardom. Offsides the call. And the slate is wide clean, still level at nothing. Bobby Robson a little bit discouraged, not agreeing with the call. This is a battle of the Robsons, of course. The elder statesman trying to come out on top. Minute 38, however. And eventually, Newcastle would break through. Alan Shearer. Yes, number three on the campaign. Old reliable. There's that 
goal celebration that we know and love. Cordone starting things off in the second half. And this one will be cleared around. Alan Goma getting ahead on things. And goal number two, minute 56. And Goma and company now starting to cruise. Newcastle looking to add more to their lead. Coming in, Lua Lua again. We saw him a moment ago, this time working the magic. A great save from reserve keeper Mark Crosley getting a start this afternoon for Mark Schwarzer. More action in the second half, Kieran Dyer. Keep your eyes on this guy, too. One of the future England stars making it 3-0 two minutes before full time. And finally, Middlesbrough. It was a little too little, too late, as they say. The little back heel, nice work. Brian Dean's going to get a hold of this one, knocking it in. However, Middlesbrough, not enough. In the end, he gets his second in the campaign, and they lose for the first time in four games. Middlesbrough now on the road, have a tough campaign ahead of them, and they fall short 3-1. Bobby Robson now puzzled.